Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Monday and uh, there's our two bags set up right there. It's kind of hard to see. They're focused. So we don't have very much room to work with, so I'm going to go around. We've got this bagger. We're getting ready to set up and put a new bag on here. So we are ready to lay down a 150 foot bag beside the barn there. So I'm pulling around here. We're going to back up in the shade and put this bag on here and then uh, hopefully get it set up and ready to go. All right, everything's set up and we've hit the field now. So I've got everything opened up uh, from the last two bags. So we've got it pretty good here, back and forth in the middle. I've already filled three wagons. This will be number four here. And um, we've got four haulers right now, which is better than what we had last night. We just had three last night and they really couldn't keep up. So it'll be helpful having four here. Ten rows at a time brings in a lot of material and fills the wagon pretty quick. Guys, it's Cody here. We are, um, we just unloaded. We got uh, Papaw's filling up now, and then Trevor's behind him. So I'm just taking my time a little bit. We got a pretty good little haul. We, uh, I'd say it's about a five, six minute haul, so try to slow down a little bit. So. Make sure everybody's not just sitting behind Brad. But yeah, we're going good. We got uh, two uh, 200 foot bags done. Uh, we're going to Saturday and Sunday. And uh, now we're doing a little uh, 150 to make sure Brad's got enough silage for the winter. And then I'd say we'll be heading back to chop some Milo. Yeah, Papa just filled up and looks alike. So, uh, we'll get in line here and get filled up. Okay, we just got finished up uh, with that 150 foot bag. So, we're gonna put the chain onto our, we gotta put a chain on here so our things don't, our wings don't float down. And then we'll head over the hill and check out the bag. All right. Here's the bag. There's Oakley. Hi. All right. Looks good. Looks like he's still unloading a little bit in there, but got to be uh, probably on the last load, I would think. Okay, it's Tuesday morning, and we've got the bagger broke down. So 
Evan needs to use this to get his silage chopped, so we're gonna bring it down to him today. He's gonna get going on that. He'll probably need it for a couple days. And then uh, we'll have to check and see what the Milo is gonna be like. And then we'll have to get started on that. But that'll be probably next week by the time that everything gets done and the Milo is ready. Okay, we got them guys set up with the bagger. So they're gonna be chopping two rows at a time. So it's gonna take them a while to fill a bag. Me and Cody just got back here and we're hooking up this disc. We gotta fix the sheet. So a C shank on that, which I got laying right there. We're gonna put that on there and then we got a waterway. So we wanna disc up where we've got a ditch at. Um, we're gonna disc that up and work on that, putting a tile in and stuff. So we're gonna go fix this C shank. All right, Wednesday morning and I uh, blew some fresh straw in here for these heifers here in the big barn. So put down probably about a bale there, maybe a little bit more. So uh, they like hanging out here in the front, catching the breeze. So it kind of, uh, they kind of go through it pretty quick. But, and then I also put another bale in this alleyway here, which looks like an absolute mess right now. But uh, there's no cows in here to mash it down yet. But we got some calves that we're gonna be bringing in here pretty soon here, probably the end of the week. So I got that ready for those. Those are gonna be um, probably uh, 15, 20, depending on what I do with a few of them. So uh, we're gonna put those in there to get them started on the silage and everything. So got that bed bedded down and I put a bale of hay in there. So I was just getting the 4840 put back in here we gotta get the 4620 put away. And then that should finish up our task today with the cattle and stuff. I've still got that pile of gravel over there I need to get spread out. But I'm trying to figure out some stuff with uh, getting some water away from there where we gotta put the bag at and some stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna pull this back in here and then I think this afternoon we're gonna go try to move some equipment around and get some stuff ready for harvest. All right, we had a little bit of a project we're working on here real quick. Getting some rock, put down some fabric and making a little bit bigger feed pad up here. So, got that done basically, just gotta spread out some rock now. Okay, well, we have made it down here to the big barn and Ray is working on the 9870 right now. Um, he's already finished up the 780. So, we are going to rearrange some stuff. We gotta bring some stuff back home and uh, we gotta bring a disc and try a couple tractors and stuff. So kind of rearranging the shed here and getting everything put where it needs to be at. All right, we just got the disc out here and we had to get that truck running and we had to move the fuel caddy out of the way and now we're gonna try to put that back in there and then put those tanks in there. And then we gotta put that rolling basket back in there. We had to pull that out too. So uh, we had to do a little bit of shuffling to get this disc out of here, but we got it and we're gonna run it back home because we're gonna need it this fall here. So bring it back home, that way it's ready to go. So we had to stop back last year and get everything put in here. So um, we got the disc and the McFarlane, and then we got to work on the 8235 and the applicator here a second. Uh, I got the corn planter back in its uh, permanent location there for the winter. And then we got a sprayer there. That's probably going to stay sitting there. And then the other sprayers there, that's probably going to stay sitting there. This tractor and planter here, that's going to stay there. So um, we've just got the 780 to put in. He's going to back that bush hog in here for now. Um, he's, Ray's still got to put the concaves in my combine there and he's got to run it and make sure everything's good with it. So, and that other bush hog will be using it. So, should have the main bay here open to put combines, drink carts and everything in here this fall, so. All right, unfolding the applicator, we're gonna go ahead and winterize it. Ain't gonna take us but two seconds to put some in, RV in a freeze in here. We keep a tote of it down here, so we're just gonna put some RV in a freeze in here. I've already ran water through the whole system and 
washed it so we've just got to run it through here make sure nothing don't freeze over the winter and then uh yeah so we're gonna unhook this and put it on the 7r because they need to go over to the other shed together and then this 8235 is going to come home and it's going to go on the grain cart so I'm just trying to get this unhooked and put in today so we can bring this back home tonight along with those two tractors that one and that one so all right just got home i think cody parked the mcfarland out there in the in the field and trevor is putting the other tractor in the shop we gotta work on it a little bit but uh, got that parked there so probably end up unhooking that disc from there so we can hook up the uh grain cart to that 9330 so but we at least got home here where we're gonna need that all right it is i don't even know what today is wednesday wednesday evening and uh we've been working around today we worked on a gravel pad to put a bag on up over the hill here and uh, I was working on cleaning out this alleyway here. I've got about a load of manure out of here so far. I had the floor all clean and then I went through and shoveled everything out. So I used our little tool on the skid loader and went in here and broke it up and then everything laying on the floor is what I scooped out. So um, this barn, the way everything's set up, you gotta scoop around all the poles and everything because the bunks just butt up to the poles and then out here in the middle the, there's just poles set in the concrete and then back here in the back we've just got them uh right here against the manure storage area so we got boards on the sides here which is creates a manure storage area in the back but then i shoveled around all of these so i try to do it at least once a year keep the manure from building up there and rotting up rotting on the post you can see you can tell you know it, it's been there for a while and stuff so uh, that's good to get that off there I've, the only poles i haven't done are these ones right here on in this section and then i just got a couple over there I haven't got to because they're kind of out in the middle there which they're not too bad but uh then i found more rats too so they were right there where that there's a water faucet right there they were there was a board right here on the bottom and it had this fully enclosed and so i started scooping manure out of the way and there was rats start coming out so um i found where where they went after i took them out of their last home so i just took that board off the bottom cleaned that out and uh so hopefully we won't have that problem anymore now they all ran back to that manure pile back there in the back so they're still here they haven't left yet but they'll be leaving soon because uh i don't want them in here especially having the tractor parked in the back and that right now we have a couple tractors up here so definitely don't want any critters in those um but i'm gonna get this all scooped up and then we'll take this out to the field and spread it out Sunday and I uh, haven't been very good at filming this week. Um, I think Cody has done a little bit and yesterday we started chopping Milo and uh, we ran into a little bit of trouble. We got about 20 something loads I think and then I blew a coolant line off the chopper so I actually just got that fixed this morning. I got it back here at the barn so it's starting to spit rain a little bit. Um, hopefully it will rain some but uh, we had a couple problems with some wagons, but nothing too major overall. But I got the field opened up. That's why I couldn't really film uh, or video much for you because 
I was trying to get the field opened up and everything like that. So this morning uh, I fed and then I went, and, or well, I got most of the feeding done. Then I went and fixed that chopper to get it inside before it rained. And then I just opened up our new corn silage bag or one of them. And so I just pulled some uh, fresh bucket of silage out of there. So this one here is, it's all getting rotten. And so we're just gonna kind of abort that and go to uh, using the new one. So we'll have to get that one picked up and thrown away. But I'm gonna pull the mixer wagon back out. I just backed it in since it started raining. And then we'll get this loaded up and finish feeding. Okay, just got everybody fed. And it's up here on the chopper. Uh, we gotta put coolant in here, so. He's gonna be bringing that here in a minute. Um, but um, hopefully we're gonna be able to chop here. I don't know if it's gonna rain or not. Either way, um, it's gonna be good. So could use some rain to get some of our later crops uh, finished out. And it just overall, it's really dry right now. So it would kind of, uh, you know, help with the dust and everything like that. So uh, we definitely would not turn down some rain right now. Um, but I'm not sure if it's going to or not. It looked like it, about an hour ago, whenever I looked, it was like definitely going to rain like right now. And so now it's not doing anything, but now they've pushed it back to later maybe. So I don't know what it's going to do, but I guess we'll go hit the field and, and we'll just see what happens. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this week's video. Um, please like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment and we'll see you next week where we are hopefully going to be uh, finishing up chopping the Milo, um, although it looks like we're going to have some rain coming in, so hopefully we'll be able to get to that and get that done so we can get started with harvest. Anyways, we'll see you in the next video.